The p-chart and u-chart will work for most data sets that have a numerator and a denominator. However, if your data meets certain criteria, you may need to consider an XMR chart or a P prime chart or a U prime chart. Let's take this example. If you have data in a P chart or U chart, and once you graph it, it looks like this, where your data points are way outside of your control limit lines, then you may want to consider an XMR chart. To calculate um, the data for an XMR chart, you're going to want to take your numerator and denominator and then divide your numerator by your denominator to get the ratio that you can then drop the calculated ratio into the XMR chart template. So we can see now comparing the P chart data with the XMR data, you'll see that now we've got at least control limit lines that better match our data. Sometimes that's all you need to do is use the XMR chart. But you might also consider the P prime or U prime chart if your denominators vary greatly. Let's look back at our data. And you can see that our sample sizes here, I believe the highest value is around 30,000 uh, data points and the lowest value is around 21,000 data points. So that data varies fairly greatly and so we would drop this into the P prime chart template. And this is a P prime chart template with the data dropped in and you can see that it looks more like a P chart than an XMR chart and I've got some unstable points that were not identified in the XMR chart. So let's look at the three charts compared once again. This was our original P chart where the data points look like they did not fit the control limits. We then tried to run an XMR chart which looked like a fairly stable chart but just to double check it, since we had sample sizes that varied greatly, we run a P prime chart and we see that we've got some unstable points and conditions. The same holds true for the U, U chart and the U prime chart. And to find these charts in the QI macros, what you'll want to do is go to the QI macros menu, click on fill in the blank templates, SPC charts, and to find the P prime chart, click on the P chart templates. The p-chart template is really a set of a whole bunch of different templates and if you go across the bottom, click on the one that has P with a little um, uh, dash there, chart skyline, and that's the P prime chart. And the same holds true for the U chart. We go to fill in the blank templates, SPC charts, U chart, and the U prime chart is right here on the end. And that's how easy it is to use the P prime and U prime charts in the QI macros.